look what you're comparing but why she share it with you i need another coffee okay i am dropping everything Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Monday. I need to get logged on to the system. Uh, it's the Monday after I was on vacation for like a week. And then Friday I worked and Friday was mostly call was mostly call. So I really didn't get much work done. And it was also the day that the majority of the systems were down because of the whole cloud strike thing or whatever. So we weren't able to get much done, but everything's up and running today had a lot of meetings this morning in the office like a lot of like back-to-back 30 -back minute meetings like team meetings pull-ups discussing discussing a project that kind of thing i need to work on this audit template for someone on my team we are going to be auditing completing an audit of performance results and we just need to come up with a template for that so i'll be working on that today a little bit more but i need to also go in and look at some performance results as well look at it to provide some insights for this week's call so yeah let me get logged on and i'll check back with you guys in a couple minutes all right y'all we're back so i need to look at some reporting and compare i want to compare our performance look month over month just to see how we how employees are performing in a few metrics last month compared to this month so i'm working on downloading some of this data from our dashboard so i can just quickly do some calculations in excel to see if this it just keeps refreshing i don't understand why it does this like you don't even click on anything like it just tableau come on need you to not be a pita today maybe i'll be able to do this i don't know so where is page on of is tableau going down what is going on performance is up from where like just looking at the month to date from june compared to july month to date let me see do i need to change that yeah so we were like at around 18 percent we're back up to two. Oh, that reminds me i need to ask them was there a change to the metric calculation okay what was the question i'm trying i need to follow up with a data scientist that i worked with last week we were discussing some of his this is a data science the same one we've talked about before that we're using a portion of his code for our metric and he was stating that they were making that he was making some potentially making some changes and since i was out last week i don't know if that went in so okay so this uh, uh oh i need to know did the e oh do i have the er it was on july 16th okay did it go through okay so i don't know because this is saying there was an issue with the with the update the enterprise update but okay i'm gonna check with him and see if a change went if he oh because he said it would be a go forward fix yeah so i wouldn't have fixed the one the example that i sent to him i don't think my fix would address this issue i can't really fix i don't think i need to check with him after going back through our messages back and forth last week but this er or this um enterprise update that was supposed to happen it looks like it was implemented but then there was an issue with the update that caused other things to not work so and i don't have an email that i see so far of a fit but i have still like 100 unread emails so i'm gonna leave that as it is and just pull the data and look at um performance but performance just glancing at it it does appear to be up but i just want to look at where we were so it's the 22nd of july i want to compare it to where we were on the 20 around the 22nd of last month am i okay so july this would have been june 22nd so last month around this time we were at 17.6 percent and we're at 20.1 so that's good that's improvement so 
So we have like a 14% improvement in performance. We had 75,000, 67,000. I wanna show the month over month. I think I need to change the way my chart looks. Okay, you know, let me change this chart because I wanted to show the metrics together in a bar chart. The way I have them now is it's showing like one month over here, one month over here, but they're grouped by different months. I wanna change that around to show like, I know what I wanna show in my mind. I am having a hard time trying to verbalize what I'm thinking, but yeah, that's what I wanna show. So I can put like a percent let me see if I can even do this and um, to Yeah, I think these are the same metrics as the other one where when you look at the metric definition or is that what you're seeing? Can you share what you're looking at? Because I don't understand what, what you're comparing. But that's, an, but that's May 2023. Are you changing your time frame? So June, hold on, we're doing premium. Okay, like this total gross. Yeah, premiums, it doesn't say that it's is that looking at stores? Hold on, our, the thought spot is at store, the store level, right? The channel is stores, right? Okay. But what metric were you looking at? Premium for May. It should match the, hold on. No, not should match. What does it match? The premium percent, you said it's 44 dot what? Yeah, the one it's, the one it's closest to is, I'm not gonna say scrap that because this is what we need to use to get is but these are the same these are going to be the same metric they're using the same source they're all in thought spot right what are morning everybody happy wednesday today working from home it is gloomy cloudy like it's going to be raining but this morning what i need to do i need to get out a report that i wasn't able to get out yesterday because i was pulled into working on like a last minute change to a project um so i need to send out a report and i need to actually get some data for july reports i need to pull some data for a july result those are the two things that i'm going to be working on and i also oh, i need to cancel this reservation um, we got an alert that there was an issue with our with one of the tables in the database it's missing data for july 15th so if you have any data that you any reporting or dashboards or whatever that's connected to that that's using that table you need to rerun your data I re, um, they fixed it, I think last night, if I'm reading the email correctly, the fix went in last, yeah, so the fix went in, it's supposed to be um, updated today. So luckily the way that any like automated reports that I have run, they go back and like rerun from the beginning of the month, like the tables drop automatically and they just go back and rerun. I have it set to the beginning of the month. So it will, in today's refresh, it will catch that change. Luckily the impact, while it impacted employees, um, showing up in reporting it didn't impact like a significant amount of employees in my opinion so okay so I need to get this report out and then I also need to get these other reports and then I can and also I need to take some training so let me go ahead and work on that We 
have like a team pull up just to go over project updates, that kind of thing. So let me join this call. Good morning. Do we have anything we need to cover? Okay. Correct. Yeah, that's what I would want to want to do as well yesterday, but it just seemed I didn't realize like it was like we were on a time crunch where we had to get something done by what four o'clock. So I, 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 that's the part I guess I was missing. I wasn't I didn't realize it was like a rush, like we need something presented, but I would want to do that too, like to add that to the numbers to see, OK, if that's what we're going to if that's our proposal that or the option they want to go with to give finance a more clear picture to say, OK, these are the people like based on historical for the last three months. This is where we're seeing they would fall, but that number could be reduced if they're not hitting that 100 percent attainment. So that may change. But the other thing I wanted to just or I guess throw in there that I thought about if we're doing that 100 percent attainment, is that the minimum? No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying for that. I'm saying just for the metric, the metric is 110, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. So my my thought was, I don't know the dollar amount that was determined, but like, I'm not saying I don't want the people to earn. I'm just saying I want it to make sense. That's all. I'm oh, sorry. I, I just a thought. I don't I don't know where they landed. So but it was just but I'm sorry, we interrupted you. What was um, but why she share it with you? I don't understand. OK, so the only thing constant in this business is change. So we um, we have to pivot, you know, Ross from friends pivot. We have to pivot. I was pulling some I pulled some data. I was working with someone else on my team yesterday to pull some data to give some prelim results. I need another coffee to give some prelim results to see what direction we want to go in, because the business wants us to focus on have our sales reps to focus on a specific metric for the remainder of Q3 into Q4 to drive performance up. We were providing some prelim numbers. I was trying to convince this person on my team, hey, we need to clean this data. And they were like, no, we just need to give a rough estimate. And I'm like, no, we need to clean this data. There's duplicates. There's data in here for people that should not be in here. So we need to take them out like we need to clean the data. So I started cleaning the data. He's like, no, we don't need to do that. He provided the numbers for what he was doing. I still proceeded to do the cleanup. But look, at the end of the call, we they took his number so I just was like okay and now today it's like oh you need to finish cleaning that data we need those numbers and then I'm bringing up to them like when you start looking at numbers and doing like analyzing and I'm like so you know how a negative times a negative is a positive same thing when you take a negative number divided by a negative number you get a positive result that's what's happening in this metric I don't think we should give people uh, like I don't think people should earn on negative performance just because the math doesn't math you know so my I need to get my numbers together to sh to show what percent of employees have negative results yes in this world you can have a negative result and then also I need to do a alternate calculation that shows counts instead because if we base it on a count instead of a percent then I can exclude those people that are negative you know so my manager's like yes do that I'm like when do you need it she's like as of yesterday because our um VP apparently wanted wants these changes and wants this focus and all of this was discussed last night with him so now I got to rush and get this together, but also I need to make sure my numbers look right, you know, because the last thing you want to do is have numbers wrong and it's going into an executive, you know, one option I need to I need to finish doing is the the percentages. So what I've done, I'm analyzing this data in Excel because this is a data point that's on lock in the database. Like I can't pull this data from the database. I have to use someone else's dashboard that's in thought spot to pull the results down and that's what I'm cleaning up. So I started working on this this morning, not knowing like what the conversation, how the conversation ended last night. So we're going to move from there and then I'm going to do a second one. Now I just posted a video today on using counts and count ifs and Excel formulas that I use all the time and VLOOKUPs and um, 
concatenate all just Excel formulas that I use a lot and I'm actually using like count ifs in this Excel file so I can count it I just need to expand the percent range that I'm looking at to give them some data and some numbers to look at so let me go back and look where are the numbers that they wanted us to use start at 65 and go with all the way to 95% okay so I need to work on these formulas and get this data so I'm not probably not gonna be talking to y'all much I'm just gonna be doing my work so I'll check in with you later mm -hmm. 